Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Law Offices of Mark Martinez. So now that the notice to quit has expired, the unlawful detainer or the eviction lawsuit starts. And the eviction lawsuit starts with the filing in court, and then the landlord or the landlord's attorney has to formally provide you notice of this um, of this lawsuit. And in eviction cases, uh, today we're going to talk about service of the lawsuit formally um, and how that's done in two basic ways. So the first way it's done is personal service, uh, kind of like you see in the movies where someone comes up to you and said, you've been served and gives you a copy of the summons and the complaint. The second way, and which is rather common in California, Southern California, is that if the process server or server of the landlord has tried with due diligence uh, three times at three different time periods during the day, the landlord or the landlord's attorney can apply with the court uh, for an order to post and serve and have the summons and complaint be formally given to tenants that way. And post and serve, if there is a court order, just means that a landlord is now able to post the notice on the door, doesn't have to personally give it to you, and then mail it. And post and serve is effective uh, 10 days from the date of the mailing. So if they post it on the door on November 1st and mail it that same day, service is effective on November 10th. When that occurs, an individual tenant now has five days excluding holidays and weekends to file a responsive pleading to the um, to the complaint. In, in other words, to, to answer or file a demur or some other type of first appearance in the lawsuit. Um, if you've been served personally, then you have five days excluding holidays and weekends from the the date you were served. Uh, thank you very much and hopefully this has been informative.